All right, I'm going to start the uh, trailer in a second, but I'm just going to do a little intro here so you know what I'm doing. It's the Unreal 3 engine. The trailer is the Samaritan. Um, they use a lot of technical terms for what's going on here, and I'm just going to break it down for you in layman's terms. I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can to go along with the trailer. So right off the bat, we're introduced to the Epic Games logo, uh, just to let you know who's involved in this. And you will see... It's kind of like a rundown, futuristic city, very like New York-esque. And one of the effects you see right off the bat is image-based reflections. So this is realistic reflections. Um, objects and puddles are going to appear as they are, and it's not going to be blurred out. So this, this would be something really new, and you actually don't see this in a lot of uh, current games. You can see a lot of lights there, fluorescence, and then there's the fluorescent powered by Unreal technology. And soon you see the protagonist, which brings us to our next, and it is called Subsurface Scattering. Subsurface Scattering is basically the texture on skin. It looks more realistic and it reacts more to lighting and environment effects like rain. Um, you'll see when he comes in close that the rain's actually beating off his forehead. It looks nothing like plastic, which is exactly what it used to look like, especially on a lot of the launch titles. And another effect we also see up close was the anti-alias mass materials, which is just hair and grass type thing. It's looking more realistic. Um, jumping along, we're about to see the bouquet. Bouquet is something you see in pictures and um, photography and film. What it is, it's basically a blurred background. Oh, and there's his superpower. And here's where the bouquet comes in. So all the background there is completely blurred. The, it's taking the effect that an aperture would with a camera. Um, we get to see him crush a guy. Very cool. Alright, I'm just going to rush through some of the other stuff while he's having this awesome epic battle. Um, deferred rendering, this is easily the hardest to explain, but what it is, is it's just going to have a lot more lighting effects, and there's going to be the ability to show a lot more uh, going on in a scene. Like in, in this, for example, you would have never been able to show that in the old Unreal Engine. Um, and he continues to have this wicked fight, and we see some very Gears of War-esque headshot here. There you go, there's the blood. Um, something we're going to see really soon is the high quality dynamic shadows. So each shadow is going to kind of reflect um, exactly what, what it's coming off of, but if objects get in the way, it's going to kind of on the fly be able to react to that as well. Uh, you'll see it with this big ass Half-Life 2 looking robot coming up behind you. And there we go, we can see the, the shadow with him and the shadow with the robot right there. So it's all in all, this looks awesome. The new effects look incredible, and this should make for a pretty solid Unreal Engine. That being said, this trailer is wicked. I beg them to make a game that has something to do with this, because it has a whole Half-Life 2 thing going on. And there we go, powered by Unreal Technology. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer. I know I did, and I'm looking forward to see what they can do with this.